Hi gamers, today we're going to review the game Quartz. Let's check it out. Alright, so how the game goes is you're a dwarf in a mine and you're trying to collect gems. And gems are going to be in this cave, this bag full of gems here. Now, it stretches over five rounds, which is five days, and every day each player is going to have one of these carts. And they're going to collect several different colored gems that can be found in the mine. Now I'll get to this in just a minute. How the game starts is you'll deal out three quartz cards to every player. Now these cards let you do different things, give you different abilities in the game. Also, if you don't use them, at the end of the game, you're gonna, you can cash them in for some extra points. Now, in the first round, everyone gets three. After that, everyone gets one. You can play as many as you like uh, per day. Um, uh, you can't play it against someone who has already left the mine. If someone has left the mine, you can't play this against them. But those are how cards work, and there's different cards that do different things for the players. Anyway, to help you out, you have a little gem thing that says choose an action. You're going to mine a crystal, uh, play an action card, or leave a mine. Okay, those, That's what you can do there. Uh, and of course, here are all the numbers of gems that are in each one. As you see, amber, very rare. It's got two. But quartz, very common. It's got 15. Obsidian, oh no, that's bad. It's 18 of those things. Now, obsidian is a black gem that you will find quite often in the mine. And as you're mining and you're picking out gems, you're putting them in your cart, if you get one obsidian, you're okay. You're, you chipped your pickaxe, but you're still alive. However, if you pick, the moment you pick a second obsidian, you are out of the mine. You're kicked out of the mine. It, it ripped up your, it tore up your equipment, ripped up your cart. You lose all your gems and you're closed for the day. Oh man, you don't get to participate in all the winnings. But this is a fun little push your luck uh, strategy game where you just keep pulling crystals, pulling crystals until you think, man, I have enough. I'm going to leave, and then you can leave the mine. Now, in a five-player game, you'll have these cards set up here every round. And the first player to leave on their own will get the first card. I'm sorry, the first player to leave gets nothing. Second player gets that card, third, fourth, and the last player. As you see, they add coins of these two, so there's more rewards for staying in the mine. Now, if you get two of these obsidian, though, and leave the mine, you do not collect a card. That card just goes away. Now, also on the back of this, you know, help card, they also have this extra cart here. If you want to save two crystals and cash them in for the next day, you can. Sometimes combinations can be more worth more money, and you may say, man, I got some of those hard-to-find gems on here, like I got a ruby and an amber. Maybe I want to save them in here for next time. You can put them in your little chest, and they go, of course, in those two circles. Now, the actual cart shows you the price of each uh, gem here, as you see amber being the most expensive, quartz being the least. And then it gives you a chart for bonuses. For instance, if I have three of any color, I can double the value of one gem in my haul. If I have four of the same color, I can double two gems values of my choice. If I have five, one of each color, like the first five here, I get a bonus eight. And man, if I can get one of each, I'll get a bonus twelve. So there are bonuses and benefits for staying in the mine. Now, after five days, you're going to add up all your uh, coins that you have, and they have these little, you know, cardboard coins here. Add up all your coins. The person and, and cash in, you know, whatever cards you never use, you cash in those. And whoever has the most coins at the end of five days is the winner. All right. So final thoughts on quartz. What do I think about this game? Well, actually. I saw this game at Gen Con this year. I never got a chance to play it because the tables were so uh, jam-packed. And so I was like, man, it looks like a fun game, but I'll never know because I didn't get a chance to play it. You know, sad face. Hmm. But then uh, another YouTuber, Chaz Marler, did his top 100 games, and he put this game as one of his top 100. He didn't own the game yet. And he said, but I really loved it. I played it at Gen Con, and it's on my top 100. I was like, dang. He just played it a few times or maybe once at Gen Con, and he loves it. Maybe I should go for it. So against my better judgment, I went ahead and pre-ordered it. Now it took five months for it to come out. It took forever. And uh, I almost got to where I didn't care anymore. But when it finally came out, I was like, dadgummit, we are playing this game. And everybody who's come over and played this game, love it. It is basically push your luck. 
man, you want to get one more gym, one more gym. You want to push your luck. I forgot to mention, if you do get booted out of the mine, they give you a little token card, which is like mining for dummies. And on the next day, if you harvest an obsidian, you can use your marker and get rid of that obsidian for the round. Now, once you use your token, that's it. So if you do get booted out of the mine, uh, you know, unfortunately, there is, you know, a little safety net there to help you out the next round so you can stay in the game, and I like that. Now, this game is very easy to teach, it's easy to learn, and it's fun to play. And I mean, all ages can play it. My little nephews had a great time playing it, and my adult gaming group just loves the game. And I'm really happy I love the game too. So is it a game for you? Well, as you can see, it's a very simple game. So if that's what you think your crowd will like, this could be even a gateway game. I honestly believe it could be a gateway game because it's so simple to learn. But yes, I think anyone can enjoy this game. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, mine on.